Hi, this is sea floor spreading. And in sea floor spreading, we make new ocean crust. So this represents oceanic crust. This represents the convection currents that are moving the crust. And this is mantle material that is coming up. And as it rises, it becomes magma. Once it breaks through the surface and touches ocean water, it's considered lava. And as these plates spread apart, this lava turns into ocean crust, brand new ocean crust. So this is my mid-ocean ridge here, along with my rift valley. And this is new seafloor being made. So as seafloor spreading happens, we make new ocean crust. Now, something interesting happens. See, our Earth's magnetic polarity switches every few hundred thousand years. The whole world doesn't turn upside down. It's just that the polarity does. So north becomes south and south becomes north. Because convection in the outer core doesn't always go in the same direction, sometimes our magnetosphere switches. One of the neat things that happens because of this is because this stuff right here, the lava that makes the new ocean floor, it's high in iron, magnesium, and magnetite. All of those are naturally magnetic substances. So when it comes up as a liquid and makes new ocean floor, it aligns itself with the magnetic polarity of the Earth's magnetic field at the time. So we're going to call the white stripes normal, where the magnetic north is the same way we have north right now, because that's what's normal to us. The black stripes are going to be the reverse of normal, when the Earth's magnetic polarity has switched. So as the convection currents pull the seafloor apart in seafloor spreading, new material comes up. And as the new material comes up, it makes a record of the magnetic polarity of the Earth at the time. Now notice that not all magnetic stripes are the same width. Where we have a larger stripe, that means the magnetic polarity stayed that way for a long time. Where we have a narrow stripe, that's when the magnetic polarity stayed that way for a short time. But one of the patterns that we see on the sea floor is that whenever it's long on one side, it's also long on the other. We see symmetrical magnetic stripes. So sometimes they are long, and sometimes they are short. And this happens every few hundred thousand years. Now, one of the things you can say about this is the ocean floor right here, since it's brand new, it just got there, this is very, very young. But as we go farther and farther away from the mid-ocean ridge, this rock is older and older and older. So it goes from young to old. And that is also a symmetrical pattern because from here it goes from young to old. So this, these two stripes are the same age. 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 And over time, seafloor spreading keeps making new seafloor. And if it continues, our oceans get wider and wider and wider. Now, interesting fact. Studies show that our magnetic polarity might be going into a reversal soon. Probably not in our lifetimes, but it might be. Because according to some magnetic readings from paints and other materials from the ancient Roman time, 
our magnetosphere is about half the strength it was way back when. So it's definitely changing. It may or may not be going into a full reversal. Who knows? It'll be interesting to see. So this is sea floor spreading. New material in the middle, older material the farther you get from the middle, symmetrical striping pattern on each side with the record of Earth's magnetic field.